second class. Hi guys, welcome back to 29th part of the Arduino tutorials. In my previous video, I have explained the basics, the working principle and also shown how you can use your 7 segment display to make a increment and decrement counter. So I would highly recommend you to watch the part 28 tutorial before jumping to this. The link will be given the description box this tutorial will be a continuation of the previous one today we'll be using two push buttons additionally to increment and decrement the count on the display for this the components required are an Arduino board seven segment display one 330 ohm resistor two push buttons Two 10 kilo ohm resistors, breadboard, and some jumper wires. Coming to the connections, as I was shown in my previous video, I'm connecting the segment pins to Arduino digital pins starting from pin 2 till 8 and connecting the common pin to the ground with a 330 ohms resistor. In case of push buttons, connecting to Arduino digital pin 9 and 10 and on the other side to Arduino 5 volt and at the last, I am using two 10 kilo ohm resistors to pull down both the push buttons to ground. If you want to know more on the push button, you can also check my previous tutorial you can follow this circuit diagram if you have any confusion coming to the coding part I'll be using the same code from my previous tutorial so we have the header file 7 seg and pin declarations initialization and in the looping section we are incrementing the count on the display from 0 to 9 so up to here you will get it in my previous tutorial as I said before. Since we will be adding two push buttons, we will declare that in the declaration section using int data type. Button 1 is connected to digital pin 9, button 2 to 10. These two are input devices, so we will make pin mode as input. And in the loop, I will be removing this for loop. So these are the lines to print any number or character on the display anyway we'll need this at the end so first we'll read the data coming from the pin i'll be declaring two more variables increment and whatever the data we are reading from pin 9 will be assigned to this variable so we'll use the push button connected to digital pin 9 to increment the count and similarly the decrement variable will hold the status of pin 10 first we'll write the logic for increment we have to just use simple if statement and check few conditions so first condition will be whether we have pressed the push button that means the value received is high I'm using and and the next condition is we have to check whether the incremented value is less than 9 
here we are using just one seven segment which can display from zero to nine so if we increment the count to 10 it will be not able to see on the display that's why you have to add this condition count less than or equal to 9 so here we will be incrementing this variable count I'll also declare it here in count and it will be initialized with 0 and we'll add one more if statement to decrement here we have to check the data from the pin 10 which is decrement variable if high and should not allow the value to go to the negative side and here the condition will be greater than zero so now the count stays from zero to nine this will be minus minus that's it and here instead of i will be just displaying this value which is stored in the variable count and delay we can keep less there is one more important condition to be added in both the if statements if you press the push button once and release it in that time duration itself the Arduino takes the high state for more than one cycle and this might increase our count value more than once even though we have pressed the button once in order to prevent this scenario we have to make sure the present state of the push button should not be equal to the button state in the previous cycle and the same logic applies here also the present state should not be equal to the previous state also I am adding some delay here just to increase the time of button press also in the decrement loop and we have to store the previous values at the end of every cycle We'll also declare both of these variables at the declaration. That's it. We are done with the code. We'll upload this and check how it works. By default it starts with zero and using this button we can increase the count and the last value will be nine and similarly using the other button we can decrease the value up to zero that's all for this tutorial i hope it will be useful and if you have any doubts let me know in the comment section below for code and circuit diagram you can visit the given link in the description box thank you for watching and i'll be back in another interesting tutorial